Hello and welcome to a new Notion Automations tutorial. Today I want to show you how you can transfer your notes that you took in Apple Notes to a Notion database. But why might that actually be useful? So why not directly take notes in a Notion page? So that first can be useful in case you don't have access to internet. So then you can use your Apple Notes because they are available also offline. And then later you can transfer it to your Notion database. Or it also makes sense if you prefer to take notes by hand. So if you use the handwriting option in Apple Notes that directly transforms it into a typed text. And then you can also later on transfer your notes to a Notion database. Um, I will show you how to do this in two different ways. One includes Apple Shortcuts and the implemented Notion module in Apple Shortcuts. Here, the drawback is that you cannot transfer also the date the note was taken. That's where make.com comes into play. The second option where we use Apple Shortcuts and make.com because then we can also transfer the date the note was taken. So these two ways I will show you and then let's just dive in. So first I want to show you the way where we don't need make.com. So you only need the shortcuts app on your phone or on your iPad. And of course we need a database in Notion. Um, I have called this database just Apple Notes. And for the first way we only actually need the title. Um, here you see date, this we will need for the second way, um, but for the version with only the shortcuts involved, you only need the title in your database, basically. So then let's check how we do this. So you open the shortcuts app and you click this little plus icon. Then we give our shortcut a name. We call it Apple Notes to Notion Way 1. And then we search, oh, this already exists. Then we give it a different name. Then we call it Apple notes way one then we search for our notes app and we want to find notes we want to find all notes and um, i always add a filter as well and i'm searching for notes that are or that were being created today because I want to push all the notes that I created on a day um, in the evening to my Notion database so that they don't accumulate. Then I add another filter. In this case, I add the folder is my YouTube tutorial. And then we'll only look for notes that are stored in the folder YouTube tutorial and that were being created today. So you can also sort and limit this. I will not do now. And the next action that we want to take is we want to search for oops, Notion and we want to create a document without opening. Then we want to create a page with the title. So there we want to have the title that also our note has as a title. Therefore, we click here on select variable. Then next to it, you see note and there you click on it. And then another window opens and here you can select name. Okay. And the body of course should be our notes body. So the actual note that we took. And you click here on uh, body and select again note and then the body of the note in which database so then you have to select here here it shows me already my databases that are connected with shortcuts um, if you do this for the very first time you will first have to 
connect your account and your workspace with shortcuts. So um, it already shows me here Apple Notes. So I select this and then we are basically done. So then we can click here, play. And it shows me here now the link of the database item that it has created. And now when we go to our database, our Apple Notes database, you see here test note and the body should be just test, I believe I wrote. Ah, this is a test, yeah. So to show you that this is really in my notes, uh, let's go to the notes and you see here today I created a test note. This is a test note and the body is this is a test. So this works perfectly fine. What you can then do is to send this to your home screen. You can give it a notes icon. Let's choose this one. And then you do add. And then you can move it wherever you want. Let's move it here. So, and then when we click on here, it enters our notes again into the database. So this is the first way and the most easiest way of how you can push your Apple notes to a Notion database. But as you might have noticed, you see your notes here and you see also the content of your notes. But for me, it is important to know when was this note created. But this is nothing we can do or we can enter through the Apple shortcuts or so through the um, Notion implementation in Apple shortcuts. And that's why I prefer for myself the way that I'm going to show you now, the way that involves make.com. So let's delete these two notes again. And we start again actually with the app shortcuts. So we open this. And I already created the shortcut, so I will show you how I did it. So first you need a secret token again. So what you have to do is you have to connect your database with the connection. So this one is connected to the integration that is called Apple Notes. If you don't know how to create these connections, then please check in my previous videos. I explained it a couple of times in other videos that I did before. So I connected um, now this database with the integration and then you get a so-called token, secret token or key, however you want to call it. And this token you enter into a text field here, this one, in the Apple shortcuts. Then you hide this text behind a variable. This is actually not really necessary. You can also put this token directly um, in here, but I prefer to hide it behind a variable. It looks cleaner for me. Therefore you choose this module set variable. Then you give this variable a name and the text is what is behind this variable. Okay, then also here you look for the notes, um, for the notes module. And also here you find notes. You find the module, find notes. And this one you choose. And then also here find all notes where all or any of the following are true. So here I also that the creation date is today and the folder is the YouTube tutorial. 
Then I sort it by creation date. It's not necessary here because it's anyway only today. And um, the order should be the oldest first. So this actually only makes sense if your creation date includes more than just today. Okay, and then what you need is the module get contents of URL. Get contents of URL is this one here, get contents of URL. I will quickly show you. And here it asks you for an URL. So we can close this again. And this is now the step where make.com comes into play. This is the scenario in make.com. And here you see I created a webhook. And whenever this webhook receives an input, it will run the scenario in that case here. So you get a URL. This is the so-called webhook. And you just copy this address to the clipboard. So you click here, copy address to, oh, to clipboard, and you paste it in here. Then it asks you for the method. You can choose various ones, but we need post. Then the headers you can ignore. We don't need any headers. The request body here is JSON. Also here you have the choice to or for several options. We need JSON. And then you see here a table that asks you for a key type and value. Okay, so and now um, what we need now is the actual naming of our database properties. So we call it title, the name, and date for the date. So title is a text, and here you put the same as on your phone, the name of the note. So if I um, delete this now, I want to... I can do actually um, um, uh, right click on your mouse and then you can choose insert variable and you select note. And then it asks you here as well uh, for name summary, whatever you want to choose, what is part of your note. So I want the name. And the same you do here with date. This is then the creation date. And then you see here content which is the body. As you might notice, this is not part of the database here. So this body, this will be inside the actual page that we create. I will show you how to do this. So, and this is all we need to set up here in our shortcuts. So then let's Mm, okay, we do it like this. Um, cancel this and I will run this module only to see or to show you. We wait for new data to show you what kind of data our webhook receives. So then we run this. And it was accepted. So now we go here. And now we see we receive this kind of data. The title is the test note. Then our date, we even have it including the time, which is not necessary. It depends on whether or not you want it. Um, but we receive it with time. And the content, so the actual note body is this is the test. Okay, so this is the data we are receiving. So what are we doing then? We want to create a database item. So you have to connect it with um, a connection. So my general connection for all Notion databases is Gmail to Notion. Um, so you can see here as well that It is connected to Gmail to Notion. 
So then you select your database ID. Therefore, you can do here search and you just type in Apple Notes or however you want to call the database and it finds the database ID for you. Apple Notes. So this is the same as we already had. And then you find here all the fields that your database has. So we have title, we have date, more properties we don't have. The title here is the title. So this you just drag and drop here. Then time you map with date. And then you can choose here whether or not you want to have the time included. I actually don't want to have it included. So I choose no. And then I click save. So now we have a database item created, but now we want to put actually also our notes content into the page content. And therefore we add another module that is called search objects. So what we are doing now, we are searching for the database item that has last been created. And in that case, it is this database item. So we um, need to enter again the connection and then we search in that exact same database. And our limit, um, this you can choose however you want it. If you think you are creating 10 nodes a day, then um, you set the limit to 10. If you say you create many more, um, notes per day, then you set it accordingly. So then I click save. So in that case, it will check for the last 10 database items that have been created in that database and click save. And now what we want to do is we want to append page content. So this is the module that we are going to choose. So here also, again, you have to connect it and then page ID, you map this with the page ID from the module before. So you can see here all the modules that your scenario has. First one is our webhooks. Then the next one is create a database item. And the, the second one, the second notion module is search object. So you map this with the page ID here. And then you have here content objects. Our content will be most likely a text. So our type is paragraph. Paragraph is a text and here type you also choose text. And then it asks you here for the actual content of the text and this you map with the content that you get from your web. And that is basically it. So you click save. And we save this scenario. Scenario was saved. So we click run once. And then we also start our shortcut. So it's accepted and then our scenario is running. And now we should have one entry here. Yeah, so this is how you can push your Apple Notes into your Notion database. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And if so, then I would be really happy about a thumbs up and maybe even a subscribe. And then see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.